Welcome everyone to the sixth tutorial of Grace BPI series. Today we are going to interface the LCD. So let's start it. In this tutorial, we will be interfacing the 16 into 2 LCD module. To do the hands-on, you will be requiring a Raspberry Pi B plus 3 model, a 16 into 2 LCD display, a breadboard, a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer, jumper wires, male to female, and male to male. So let's go and see the wiring setup. For that, first of all, insert the LCD into the breadboard. Connect the first pin, which is VSS, to the ground of the Raspberry Pi. Connect the second pin, which is VDD, to the 5 volt supply of the Raspberry Pi. Now connect the VO to the middle pin of the 10 kilo ohm potentiometer and connect one end of the potentiometer to the ground and other to the 5 volt supply. Connect the RS pin to the GPIO pin 26 of the Raspberry Pi. Connect read or write pin to the ground. Connect the enable pin to the GPIO pin 19 of the Raspberry Pi. Connect the D4 pin to the GPIO pin 13 of the Raspberry Pi. Connect D5 pin to the GPIO pin 6 of the Raspberry Pi. Connect D6 pin to the GPIO pin 5 of the Raspberry Pi. And connect D7 pin to the GPIO pin 21 of the Raspberry Pi. Then connect pin number 13 to plus 5 volts and pin number 14 to the ground. Now, before moving further, let us complete all the steps we have done till now. With the test bench, this is the Raspberry Pi B plus C model. This is the LCD display which is 16 into 2, a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer, jumper wires, and the power bank for the power supply. So let's go and do the connection setup. Connect the positive 5 volt supply of the Raspberry Pi to the positive line of the breadboard. Then connect the negative line to the negative line of the Raspberry Pi. Then we have connected the first pin to the ground line, second pin to the positive line. Now we will be connecting the middle pin of the potentiometer to the third line. And we have already connected the other two ends to the one to the positive line and other to the negative line. Now we are going to connect the fourth pin to the GPIO pin 26 then we are going to connect the RW pin to the ground then we are connecting the enable pin to the GPIO pin 19 like this then we are left with our data pins the first data pin D5 will be going to GPIO pin number 13. The next data pin is going to be GPIO pin number 6. Then connect the D6 pin to the GPIO pin 5 on the Raspberry Pi. Something like this. Then connect the D7 pin to the GPIO pin 21 on the Raspberry Pi. Then connect the pin number 13 to the positive line and pin number 14 to the negative line. So we have done the connections. Now let us move towards the tutorial. After that, connect the Raspberry Pi to the power supply and wait until it boots up. After the Raspberry Pi is successfully booted up, now, we will moving towards the programming part. For that, you will need to connect your Raspberry Pi using the PuTTY app and entering the user's username and password. After that, we are going to install the Art of Root library for the LCD. This will be a git command. So, it is recommended to install the git before. Then, 
will be changing the directory to Adafruit underscore python underscore char lcd. Over here, we'll be using the command sudo python setup.py install. This will be saving all the examples and all the files for the Adafruit library. Then go to the examples folder and open the char underscore lcd.py file and change the pins for the interface. For example, lcd underscore rs to 26, lcd underscore es to 19, lcd underscore d4 equals to 13, lcd underscore d5 to 6, lcd underscore d6 to 5, lcd underscore d7 to 21, and lcd underscore backlight to 4. The backlight will be an optional. Now open a Python 3 IDE by entering the command sudo nano lcd.py. Write the code for the LCD, save it and run it. Now let's do the hands-on. So now let us start the hands-on. Open the putty app, enter the IP address of a Raspberry Pi. In my case, it's 192.168.1.106. Enter, enter the username, enter the password. Now you have successfully logged into a Raspberry Pi. Now let us install the Adafruit library for the LCD interface. For that, you will be required to enter this command git clone and enter it. For those who are getting error after entering this command, they will require to install the git into a Raspberry Pi. For that, you will need to enter this command sudo apt git install git. Your error will be gone. Now hit enter. It shows that I have already installed this. So now let's just go to the next step. In the next step, we are going to change the directory. For that, we have this command cd slash adafruit underscore python underscore char lcd. Hit enter. Your directory has been changed. Now to save all the files, you will needing to enter this command. Right click and enter. This will be saving all the files you require for the interface. Now let's go and see the examples folder and see the example file which is named as char underscore lcd. For that, let us see where we are. For that, enter the command ls. You can see over here there is examples folder in this. To change the folder or the directory, enter the command cd examples so now we are in the examples folder now let's again enter the command ls to see the files over here we have the char underscore lc dot py let's open it for that sudo nano char underscore lcd dot py enter this will be the default import library for the interfacing do the required changings in this setup according to our connection setup so that you will not getting any error during the interface. I have already done it. So let's move further. To move back, control X. Now let's go and write our code. To write the code, we will need to open a new folder, which will be sudo nano lcd.py. I have already written the code, so let me copy that code up. Control C. We're going to right click and paste the code over this file. Here you can see we have the code. Now let's see what is in the code. In this code, we are first importing the GPIO library, then the Atafood library, which we have changed. Then we are defining the pins, and then we are clearing the LCD for the first time. Then we are printing the messages, changing the cursor, then again printing the messages. And this function over there, this is a sleep function or the time function, which means that there will be a delay of five seconds for the next command. So let's see, we have same, same. And after the completion, we are entering the command gpio.cleanup, which will clean all the commands, all the setup, which we have given to the GPIO pins. Now let's save this by pressing Ctrl X, then Y, 
and then enter. Your file has been saved. Now to run this, you will be requiring to enter the command python lcd dot py. Now you are able to see the output. Now let's see the output. I am going to enter the command python lcd dot py. There you go. Thank you for watching.